Okay, good evening, everybody, councillors, staff, uh, members of the public. Uh, welcome to the first meeting of this cycle of year on Tuesday, the 12th of May, 2020. The first item on the agenda is the election of chairman for the ensuing year. Um, from the chair, I'd like to propose councillor Michelle Thomas. Councillor Clark, would you like to second that? Thank you. Seconded by Councillor Clark. I knew he would do because he uh, proposed Councillor Thomas yesterday for mayor. So thank you, uh, Councillor Clark. Are there any other nominations for chairman? Okay, all in favour? That's carried. I'll pass the meeting over to Councillor Thomas, who is now the chairman of the planning committee for this year. Councillor Thomas, all yours. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd actually like to start, before we get on to the election of um, the Vice Chair, I'd actually like to thank um, Councillor Arlett for his time in the Chair of Planning. Um, we all know it's, it's well, I'm about to find out as well, it's not an easy job. There's lots of work that goes on behind the scenes. Um, just for the record, can you remind us roughly how long you've been Chair of Planning? Only a year. Quite a few years of time before. Only three years this time. <laughs> well, there you go. So you do, it's a well-earned break. So can, can we have a vote of thanks? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Michelle. OK, moving on. Item two. I'd like of... to congratulate you on becoming chair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for your votes. Thank you. Um, election of vice chair, please. Um, do we have any nominations? Yes, uh, Councillor Gavishak. Can we have the sound, please? Right. Okay, Please. sorry, Councillor uh, Gavishak. I, I'm there now. Yeah, I'd like to uh, nominate, I'd like to propose Councillor Arlott as Deputy Chair, Vice Chair. Okay, thank you. Do I have a, a seconder? I'll second that. Thank you. Um, thank you. That's seconded by Councillor Hamilton. Do we have any other nominations? No? Okay, thank you. That's carried. OK, so moving on now for the remainder of the meeting, we have item three, which is terms of reference. Um, I understand that um, there are no changes to the terms of reference for the coming year. So can we please um, vote that through? Yeah, a show of hands, please. Thank you. That's all carried. Next item on the agenda is item four. Apologies for absence. Um, I note we did have one earlier, didn't we, Jodie, from Councillor uh, oh, And also we have, um, yes, we'll, uh, Councillor Hamilton standing in for the, the, the usual member, which is uh, Councillor Lawrence Plant. And Councillor Eggleton? He was coming. Right, okay. C Councillor Millers substituting for Councillor Crook. Right, okay, thank you all. Okay, you ready to move on everybody? We have item five, which is declarations of interest. Do any of you have any uh, declarations to make on the items uh, before us? Yes, Councillor Hamilton. Um, there's one in here that's 102 Grays Hill where there's observations and the agenda. Okay. Um, it's at the back of me, so personal interest. Okay, all. so you, you, you'll you be abstaining from the vote and, and making uh, comments? It's only a personal interest. It just happens to be at the back of me, so I think okay. um, we're not actually discussing it because it's, uh, it's only one where we've given observations, as it were. Right. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're happy to move on to the next. Yes, Councillor, uh, Councillor Arlett. Uh, can we have sound, please? Sheridan, thank you. Sorry, Councillor yeah. Councillor Arlott, we didn't. On page yeah. page four, 25 Thames size Henley on Thames. Yeah. I'm a member of the municipal charity. Uh, this uh, uh, application backs on to the um, to some of the charity's buildings. I just wonder if I need to declare an interest on this application. 
Sheridan, can we refer that to you? I'm a trustee of the Henley Municipal Charity and two or three of their houses back onto this application. Sheridan, you need to take yourself off mute. Uh, which application is that, sorry? On page four, 25 yes. Thameside. 25 Thameside. And does it, um, uh, is, it, uh, uh, is it affecting the, um, uh, the property in question? Um, if I was to speak on it, I wouldn't, if I was to speak on it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't speak um, that it would affect the, uh, the, the houses that it backs onto. It doesn't affect the financial standing at all of the no, municipal No, not at all. No. Um, then, it, uh, then it is fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Um, so we're happy to move on to the next item on the agenda, which is um, item six, minutes and observations. We'll take the minutes first, which is to approve the minutes of the planning committee, which was held on the 25th of February 2020. Yeah, do, we have, do I have a proposer? Yes, yeah, Councillor please. Arlott, thank you. Seconder, Councillor Gavishek, thank you. Um, everyone happy with the minutes? Yeah, Show your hands, please. Thank you. That's carried. Um, number two, this is just to make a note of the observations that have been made um, for the planning applications which were received between the 24th of February and the 8th of April. Okay, that's just to note those. Okay. Anybody like to make any comments? No, noted. Perhaps, perhaps we can do that when we actually get to them um, further along the agenda. Okay, um, item number seven. This is uh, public participation and this is to receive questions and comments from members of the public on any matter affecting the town or of course to comments on a planning application. Um, I do believe we have um, a member of the public with us this evening, welcome. Um, please do turn your um, screen on and inform us who you are, your name and your address. And if you're speaking about an application, which application it is. Okay, I'm not going to turn my screen on as it's going on YouTube, if you don't mind. Okay, that, that's um, absolutely fine. Thank, thank you for letting you. us know. My name is Sue Hedges and I'm here with my husband, James Knight, and we live at 31 Macon's Road, which is next door to number 33 Macon's, which is putting in the application. Okay, thank you. You have you have two to three minutes to, um, to speak. Okay. Um, um, starting whenever you're ready. Thank you. So I've written something out that I'm going to read. Um, we accept the proposal in principle, but want to ensure that our amenity and privacy is protected. The proposed extension juts out 3.15 metres beyond our property. We're currently not overlooked by any neighbouring properties, but the proposed back door and small window would overlook our patio area. We would like it to be stipulated that the back door is a solid door with no glazing. This would not impact the light to the non-habitable utility room as there is a window on the north elevation. However, a solid back door would protect our amenity and privacy. Also, the small window is above a toilet, so we would like to be assured that this would be an obscured window that can neither be seen out of or seen into. Is that okay. okay? Yep, that's absolutely fine. Many thanks for, for that information. Um, of course, you're very welcome to um, stay with the meeting and hear what the um, councillor's observations are. Thank you. Um, we don't have any other members of the public present, um, so we'll move on to um, the next item on the agenda which is new plans, item number eight. Um, and the first, on, on every application, by the way, uh, councillors, I am going to ask um, Jody our, uh, Rhymes, our planning officer, if she has any observations to make um, that will um, assist us, um, just in case we actually do need that information, we find that useful. Um, okay, so the first one is P20 slash S0791, slash A, and that's two station road. Jodie. Okay, um, so I haven't got any concerns for this proposal. It looks to be acceptable. Um, the colours are visually in keeping with this building and they're similar faces or nearby buildings. It is not listed or within the conservation area. 
um, and it's in general conformity with the design policies within the SODC core strategy and neighbourhood plan. Um, you could apply conditions to ensure it's compliant with the shopfront design guide and ensure the A board is situated on the forecourt area rather than the public highway, but I don't have any concerns with this proposal. Okay, many thanks. Um, so I'm now going to take this out for councillors' consideration. Do I have any proposals? Yes, Councillor Gabishak. Uh, can I propose acceptance of this? Um, I think we should put a note about the A board in the acceptance and also um, the fact that uh, it should be it should conform with the shopfront guide. Um, in other words, it should be made of wood and painted. And, but I think the design is very nice. OK, thank you. Do I have a seconder for that motion? Yes, Councillor Romans, thank you. And uh, would anybody else like to speak to this application? Yes, Councillor Hamilton. I think it does look very nice. I just think on the A board, I think we should encourage um, new shops like this to either have a hanging board or an A board, but not both. And um, a hanging board, in my view, is a lot better. So somehow we should um, say either or as a recommendation. Okay. Well, it, uh, Councillor Gavishak, are you going to be happy with that amendment to uh, the proposal um, and Councillor Romans as seconder? I, I actually think that the A board's OK, actually, um, because it is a wide pavement around that area. So I would say, and, and uh, as we all know, um, the Henley High Street will, is going to need all the help that it it needs um, going forward. Um, I think we should accept the A board and the hanging basket. I think the overall design is very, very nice. So we, we should accept it. Yes, okay, we review it in the future if, because the A board policy is within, is with Henley Town Council. So we can review that going forward anyway. Okay, all right. So, um, so the uh, as is, please. The, the proposal is, is um, the original um, as laid out by Councillor Gavishak. Um, it's been seconded by Councillor Romans, so can we have a vote, please, unless there's anybody else that'd like to speak to this? No, okay, let's have a vote. Yeah, that's carried, thank you. Um, the next um, item on the agenda is P20 slash S0892 slash HH, and that's 39 Bellevue Road. Over to you, Jodie. Okay, thank you. Um, so I have no overriding concerns with this um, proposal. Uh, the extension is set down from the ridge of the main property and set back from the front building line to ensure visual subservience. Uh, there is a gap between the two storey element and the neighbouring property. And I note there's similar extensions at number 33 and number 35. The extension should not have a material impact on the amenity of the neighbouring occupants. Um, the proposed materials are to match the existing building, render and tiles, and this could be a condition of any permission. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll now um, put this to uh, the councillors for their consideration and observations. Do I have any proposals? Yes, Councillor Gavishak. Um, I propose we accept this, it's acceptable. Thank you. Okay, th thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Romans uh, on Councillor Clark, thank you very much. Uh, would anybody else like to speak to this application before I put it to a general vote? No? Okay, let's take a vote on it now then, please, uh, for approval. Okay, that's carried. Many thanks. Let's then move on to the next uh, <coughs> item, um, to which um, uh, the lady spoke from the gallery, uh, which is um, P20 slash S1042 slash HH, and this is 33 Makins Road. Jodie, do you have any comments? Uh, thank you. Yeah, I have no overriding concerns with this. Um, it's a single story extension that would protrude out from the rear by 3.15 metres, and I consider it to have minimal impact. Thank you. Okay, so I'll take this out to councillors for their observations. Um, any proposals? Councillor Gavishak. Yes, Councillor Gavishak. Um, I promise I'm not going to 
I'm not going to monopolize the whole night, but anyway, um, uh, I'm going to propose acceptance of this, but I am listening to the, um, you know, the neighbors and uh, it's, it's a single story extension. So, uh, and it's obviously a bungalowed area, um, but the extension is, does actually stick three meters out the back. So therefore I am sympathetic to say, um, I will accept this planning permission provided it is a solid black door and the, the light above the toilet is of obscured glass. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Do I have um, a seconder for approval with conditions? Yes, thank you, Councillor Hamilton. Um, would anybody I'm, I'm, else... I'm happy to second it. I think the um, lady spoke very well and I think it's totally reasonable. I don't have a problem with a second, sec uh, single story extension, but um, why not add these conditions to it as well? So um, I'm all in favour. Okay. Thank you. Um, would anybody else like to speak to this application before we put it to the vote for approval? No? Okay, then let's take the vote now. Okay, thank you all. Um, next item on the agenda is P20 slash S1092 slash HH 15A Deanfield Avenue. Uh, Jodie, do you have any observations for the committee? Um, I have no concerns with this application. Okay, thank you. In that case, then I will put this out to the councillors for their observations. Any proposals? Yes, Councillor Arlett. Nothing else to say. I'm afraid we didn't catch the first part of your, uh, your proposal. No objection. No objection. Okay, thank you. Um, so this is this is an odd one. This is so this is for approval. Councillor Gavishak, what would you like to say? Um, yes, Councillor Gavishak. Well, I, I, would, I would like a vote on this, proposing and seconding, uh, because I will speak against it. Right. So if okay. Councillor Arla wants to propose acceptance, then that's fine. Okay. Do I have a seconder for acceptance for approval? Councillor Clark, thank you. All right, so we have a motion for acceptance. It's seconded, but uh, I'm now going to throw this out for discussion, for further discussion. Who would like to speak first? Councillor Gavishak, thank you. Whenever yes, you're ready. Yes, um, the, the, I'm gonna begin speaking against these kinds of pulling applications. It's mainly on the grounds, I mean, I'm not an eco warrior, but I am, um, I am sort of becoming more and more passionate about biodiversity and actually having gardens and fences actually stop the migration of animals and mammals uh, going, going through. Now, in this particular area, you may well say, well, there's no, uh, there are no sort of animals in that area, but we don't know. The thing is that a solid fence provides no habitat for animals and provides no transitional routes as well. So therefore, I think we should actually sort of make a stand on this as a Henley Town Council. That we should actually make um, uh, begin to take um, take into account that 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 properties should be fenced by hedges rather than fences. So I will vote against this. Okay, thank you, Councillor Gavishak. Um, so, do I have any seconder for Councillor Gavishak's proposal? You've already got a proposal. No, it's already been proposed, Michelle, and seconded. So mm. I spoke against it. Okay, well, let's put it to the vote then, unless anybody else would like to speak. I'd like to sum up. Okay, Councillor, Councillor Arlett, please yeah. do. I think you, you just look at the start of the application and it says replace. It doesn't say new. So we're just looking for a, re a replacement fence. The fence is already there. <laughs> it's a bit uh, dilapidated. Um, and, I, and that's why I see no um, reason why we can't support the application. If there was no fence there, that's entirely different. But all, all that they're all they're applying for is to replace the close bordered fence, and um, I think it'd be it'd be a waste of time uh, voting against it. Okay, right. Thank you. Would anybody else like to speak before we put it to a vote? That's all we've been summed up. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's take it to the vote then. All those in favour of approval? 
Councillor Romans, are you abstaining? You're saying you don't want to vote, but you, you are. Okay, thank you. Okay, that is, um, that's carriage for approval. Thank you. Um, okay, next on the agenda is um, P20 slash S1130 slash HH, and this is Treetops, Hopston Way. Would, it, would, uh, would you like to speak, Jodie? Yeah, um, so I have some concerns with the scale and massing of the proposed first storey side extension and it's considered not subservient to the main property. However, um, the property is stepped back from the road and there is screening along the road frontage. Um, there's no windows proposed on the first floor level, so it shouldn't have an adverse impact on the neighbouring properties. Um, could be overlooking, however, from the proposed balcony, um, and there is 1.8 metre high obscure glass screen along the side, but only one metre proposed to the rear. Um, there are, are also um, trees within this site that are protected by tree preservation orders, and um, these make important contributions to the landscape. I note that the forestry officer has a holding objection until they receive further information. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So thank you for that, Jodie. Um, so now we'll take it out to the councillors. Um, do I have any proposals? Councillor Gavishak. Uh, yes, um, thank you, Jodie, for, for your comments. I'm going to freeze. <laughs> Got a freeze on. There, yeah. we cannot make a decision on this planning application, so we should vote against it. I think. Um, okay, so. Just to let you know, Councillor Gavishak, that unfortunately we didn't catch the first part of oh. what you were saying about the, okay. your proposal. Would I'll, you mind repeating it? I'll be even briefer then. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. Yeah. I am going to propose um, that we... That we... Oh dear. Okay. So, I'm um, we... out. sorry. <laughs> okay. So third time lucky, Councillor Gavishek. I propose. <laughs> sorry, I can't stop laughing. Um, Sheridan, can I please ask for some advice for this unprecedented situation that we find ourselves in? We have um, a, um, a proposal for refusal. However, we are unable to listen to uh, the reasons for that uh, motion. Uh, if a councillor cannot be heard, uh, then uh, for that period, they would be deemed as being absent. So it is down to the chair's discretion as to whether or not uh, you wait for that member to um, to uh, reappear, uh, or whether or not uh, whether or not you carry on uh, assuming that they are absent, um, uh, so we could try uh, once more with uh, for Councillor Gav uh, Gavishak if you would if you would like. Uh, otherwise, if he does keep freezing, then I would recommend that uh, that uh, you consider him uh, absent. Okay. Okay. Councillor Gavishak, would you like to have one one more go at your um, reason or reasons for um, proposing refusal? No. no. I'd like to propose rejection because we haven't got the tree officer's report. Okay. All right. So. Um, so it's to do with the, um, the, 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 the tree reports. Okay. Yeah, I think I heard that correctly, that it, this is for um, refusal. Um, <clears> okay, <throat> sorry. Uh, Councillor Arla, would you like to second or are you, are you putting your hand I'll up second. to speak? Yeah, okay, I was going to- Okay, so Councillor Hamilton is seconding. Councillor Arlett. Second our eco-warrior, that was all. 
Um, I think we should we shouldn't um, uh, support the application until the forestry report is complete. <coughs> okay, okay, thank you. So, um, would anybody else like to speak to this application? Councillor Regleton, are you happy that you know which um, application we're speaking about? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, would anybody else like to speak before I, put, before I put it to the vote? Okay. Thank you. So what I'll do is I'm going to put this to the vote now, and this is a vote for refusal. Uh, please raise your hands. Okay. And Jodie, you're happy with the, the, the reason there? Yeah. Okay, so um, let's move on. We're now turning the page to page four. And the next item is P20 slash S1144 slash FUL. And this is Friar Park Stables, Badgemore. Jodie. Okay, thank you. Um, so this is a retrospective application and um, I've got concerns about this proposal. I note that the highway authorities have, has recommended uh, refusal with concerns over the impact of the proposal on the local highway network. The proposal is likely to result in additional movements and with the constrained width of the access point, the vehicles would be queuing on a fast carriageway within proximity to a junction. There is also potential adverse impact on the AOMB conservation area and the listed uh, Friar Park opposite. This would conflict with the SODC core strategies, um, landscape and historic environment policies. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, do I have any proposals from councillors, please, on this application? Yes, Councillor Gavishak. Try it. Try again. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I respect the views. And I also uh, read the, this planning application sort of thoroughly because the exit from this is, um, well, tricky to say the least. But I think I, I'm going to propose that we accept this because I think that we should be doing all that we can to encourage employment into the Henley area and the surrounding area. And therefore, this area already has a number of businesses. And we are only adding a small number to the to the ones that are already there. So it's not the fact that we're going into the ANOB and actually providing a completely new set of businesses. It's additional to. Um, I certainly think that the applicant should look at the road access uh, or the access out out of the site in particular. But um, I think we should encourage. I think we really should encourage businesses into Henley. And these, these are small micro businesses um, that are near Henley that provide employment. So we, we've, got, we've got to say yes. So I propose acceptance. Okay, do I have a seconder for Councillor Gavishak's uh, motion to approve? Uh, Councillor Clark, thank you. So that's seconded. Um, would anybody else like to speak to this application? Yes, Councillor Arlett and then Councillor Hamilton, please. Yeah, I'm going to speak about, against this um, chairman. Um, I've been in and out of the access numerous times now. And uh, to be honest, I wouldn't want to go out there again. It's probably the worst access onto a main road that I've ever had to, to go on to. Um, you know, it obviously needs work uh, done on it. It needs a much bigger vision splay. And until that's done, um, there will be a major accident there. No doubt about that whatsoever. And I wouldn't want to put my name uh, to that. So I will be, I'll, I'll only be speaking against the application on that point on, on the highways ground. Very, very rarely do Oxford County Council highways um, uh, vote or speak against an application. And, and that's why I would support them on this one. I think we would be foolish to uh, support the application as it is. Okay, yes, sorry, Councillor Hamilton. I'll actually support this application. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'll, I, will, I will actually support this application subject to it having a new access. And I think the, the, the reality is all the access is along that part of the road, Packham Prime, the lane, the next lane up, and uh, this one, 
all have accesses that can be worked on to improve. So uh, I also think we should be supporting these local businesses, but they also should be looking at the access. So I, I, I will second that um, the proposal that we accept it subject to a new access or work with the highways to improve the access substantially. Okay, so it was Councillor Gavishak um, who actually proposed the motion to accept, uh, sorry, to approve this application and Councillor Clark um, seconded. Um, Councillor Gavishak, would you be happy with those amendments to uh, your original proposal? I, I prov yeah. Those conditions. Yes. Uh, th thank you, Will, for, for your support. I, I think the, um, and, and Councillor Arlott as well for speaking, you know, clearly for the em employment in the area. Um, I'll slightly change the wording then. I propose that we accept, um, subject to the applicant looking at the access, we can't, we, we can't go with the wording a new access because it might not be possible. But, um, but, but I think we propose that we accept with a comment that the applicant seriously looks at the access onto the, the main road. Um, Councillor Hamilton, were you happy with that um, amendment as stated? Yeah, I just also Council think we should, I'm uh, happy with that amendment. I also think we should look at potentially the cladding, having a dark cladding on the building, which was raised by a member for the public. Councillor Gavishak. Happy with that. Uh, yeah. Well, um, I, I don't know. I, I didn't actually look in in in, in that detail. Um, well, I'll add that comment. Just dark cladding. Yeah. The okay. Side. Yeah. We'll add it. We'll add it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Councillor Clark, you seconded the motion. Uh, would you be happy with those two amendments? Yeah, I would be. But I'd just like to bring up a point. Um, at the transport meeting, and Mr. Palmer brought this up with Stefan about having um, speed signs put there slow the traffic down. I uh, just wondered if Stefan's done anything about it. Well, that'll, right, be, that'll be a separate thing. It'll yeah, be a se we'll separate matter. We will have to discuss that separately. It's not part of this application, <laughs> Councillor Clark. Um, Councillor Arlett, would you like to speak again? Oh, yeah, as we've changed the proposal, um, um, which means absolutely nothing, um, what's being added. Um, so basically we're saying to the, the applicant, I'll have a look at the access and uh, see if you can improve it. And he comes back and said, I've had a look at it, but I can't improve it. Uh, so you're prepared to give him planning permission for that. I, sorry, I think you got the wording all, all wrong there. So I won't be supporting the uh, um, proposal. Okay. Well, I think we need to put this to the vote actually, um, unless anybody else would like to speak. Okay, so this is um, uh, to vote, please, for the motion to approve subject to conditions um, as laid out by Councillor Gavishak. All those for, please. And all those against, please. Okay, that's that's carried. Thank you. Are you happy with that, Jodie? Um, I think it could do with um, specifying what you want from the access. So to say, to ensure that it's sat, um, satisfactory or something in there, because just looking at the access, it, it as um, Councillor Arlott says, it, it doesn't really specify, but I, you've already okay. made the decision. The, the, so the, the town clerk would like to speak. I think yeah. we should hear him. Um, the wording could be along the lines of uh, recommend approval uh, subject to um, highways being satisfied, um, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, regarding the access. Yeah. Mm. OK, Councillor um, Eggleton, please. Sorry, I'm, Councillor Eggleton, would you I'm mind saying that again? Yeah, I'm having difficulty because it keeps locking me out. No, it doesn't. It's, um, no, it's, I was just uh, going to, um, uh, Sheridan's emphasised the, um, if the, if the highways are, are happy with the, um, with the access, uh, or whatever they do to it, then I would, um, and then I'd be, be for it. Okay. 
I think that the um, this particular motion for approval, um, I think we would need to take a vote on this again, just to be absolutely sure, because it's had a slight tweak to it. Um, and um, I think that wording, I think, needs to be voted on again. OK, sorry, Councillor Gavishak, would you like to speak? Yeah. Um, well, we're going to have to rerun the whole debate again because um, the um, this act, this access is already being used by cars going in and out and in and out and in and out. And if we actually mm. say, if we say this motion subject to the highways approval, bear in mind we're only advisory, then um, then it will never happen. And I think it should happen because. Um, there are employers up there that are exiting and entrancing this this thing loads of times. I, I mean, my view is we've taken the vote and that's it. Yeah, okay. And, so and Councillor Hamilton, do you agree with you don't like it, then Gavishak that's it. Gavishak has said, obviously Jody can do the wording, but I, 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 I personally think the town clerk's wording is one thing, but we've taken a vote and you know, subject to improvements of the access, that's what we've gone with. Okay, yes. Um, Sheridan, are you, are you happy to continue on that basis? Oh, yes. Because certainly. I am. Yes. Certainly. Okay, right. Are you happy, Jodie? Yeah, you're, you're nodding. Great. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, so let's move on then. Let's move on to the next. Um, let's move on to the next um, item on the agenda, which is uh, P20 slash S1148 slash LB. Um, and this is Haroldine, 12 Norman Avenue. Um, Jodie. Oh, Councillor Arlett's got his hand up. Oh, sorry, Councillor Arlett. I, I think it's already been granted planning permission. Well, I know has it, it has. It? Yeah. Jodie, is that... Uh, Jodie? Yeah, um, it's not on the system, SODC's website, is, but I'll take that as... I okay, well, that's concerns. fine, but carry on then. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have any concerns with this application. Um, no, okay, well, okay, so what we'll do then is uh, because we don't know, our planning officer is, doesn't know for sure whether this has actually gone through um, planning or not, um, let's discuss it and take a vote. Um, do I have any proposals from the floor? Yes, Councillor Gavishak? Um, I propose we accept this, it's acceptable. Okay, do I have a second? Yes, Councillor Arlett, thank you. Would anybody like uh, to speak? No? Okay, so let's take a vote for approval, please. Okay, thank you all. So let's move on to the next one, um, which is actually, can we take the next two items together because they are actually speaking to the same um, application, um, which is 2510 side, it's just that one is a full application and one is for the listed building part of it. So that's P20 slash S1165. Um, Jodie. Thank you. Um, so this is a grade two listed building um, it has already been extensively modified, but I do have concerns over the impact on the listed building and the, and the historic character. Um, there's potential conflict with the historic environment, uh, local plan policy, um, and it should be ensured that the integrity of the listed building is retained. OK, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. But do, now, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to ask uh, councillors now um, if they have any proposals for me. OK, who would like to speak? Ooh. Sorry. Would anybody like to speak to this application? Yes, Councillor Gavishak. Um, I'd like to propose, I mean, it, it's what we it's what we normally do in this. I'd like to propose acceptance of this. Um, provided that the listing, uh, the um, conservation officer is is happy with the with the changes and the improvements. But um, I, I can see, I, I'm not an expert on um, conservation, but I, I can't see any problems with this application. So I propose acceptance. Okay, thank you. Uh, do I have a seconder for I'll approval? <coughs> Sorry, Councillor Eggleton, were you uh, seconding? Yeah. I would second that. Uh, if um, if you can put add into as long as English heritage are involved in it. Actually, Jodie, that's a good point. I, I have English heritage been consulted? You know, are being consulted. I think there are um, 
compulsory consulting, aren't they? Yeah, I'll just have a little quick look. Hold on. Okay. Um, okay, so would anybody else, before we take it to the vote, would anybody else like to speak? Yes, Councillor Arlett. Yeah, I'm going to speak against this, Chairman. Um, it's over-intensive uh, development on, on the site. Um, it just takes away the appearance of the, the buildings that were there before. There's absolutely nothing whatsoever for the architecture in that area. Uh, it's just building out to the almost the boundaries just for the sake of building out. And say it adds nothing to the town whatsoever. Okay, thank you, Councillor Rolla. Would, would anybody else like to speak about this application? No? Okay, so what I'll do then is I'll, I'll take this to the vote. Um, uh, Councillor Gavishak, as you proposed um, the approval of this application, would you like to sum up and say anything more? Okay, thank you. All right, let's put it to the vote then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got that, thank you. Um, so let's put this to the vote. Um, this is for uh, the motion to approve. If you could put your, raise your hands now if you're approving. Okay, I've got three. I've got three for approval. And all those for refusal, please. I've got three. Okay, so um, Councillor Miller, are you voting or abstaining? Sorry, I didn't get that. Councillor oh, Miller, sorry. Sorry, I'm you, abstaining on this one. You're abstaining? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that means then that I have a casting vote in this instance. Um, and I am going to um, refuse. Okay, so that's right. um, refused. Do, do I need to sum up the reasons for my for refusal? Jodie? Yeah, that would be helpful. Okay, so um, it's, it's basically laid out um, for um, for yourself, Jodie. Um, I think this um, is an overdevelopment of this site, um, even though it's already inhabited. Um, it's it's not um, actually split into two flats. Um, so um, I think really. Um, change of use does come into this actually, um, because um, this is going to be a, an open market, um, but put onto the open market um, as, as two two bedroom flats and it's not being used in that way at the moment. Um, I think too much of the original architecture has been is being lost in this particular building. Um, and also I know that, um, you know, it's uh, of the, um, the restaurant is below, um, I, I am very, um, I'm not sure if this is actually a, a material objection, but I am concerned for any new residents um, with uh, odours and, and smells and fire safety. Um, so that's the reason, reasons for refusal. Would anybody else like to add any, any more to that? Yes, Councillor Edelton. And also the English Heritage needs, if they, yeah, if they haven't been contacted, they, they need to be contacted as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're a statutory consultee, but um, that, could, that can go in there as well, can't it, Jodie? Yeah, I've included that. Yeah, OK. Thank you. OK, shall we, shall we move on? Um, OK, so let's let's take it to the next um, application, which is P20 slash S1196 slash HH. And this is Woodlands Fairmile. Jodie. Uh, thank you. Um, so this is a grade two listed building. Um, I have got some concerns over the scale and the massing in relation to the main property. Um, consider it would harm the heritage asset. Uh, the MPPF states that when considering the impact of the proposed development on the significance of this heritage asset, great weight should be given to the asset's conservation. Thank okay, you. thank you. Um, so I'm going to now put this to councillors. Do I have any proposals at all? Any proposals? Yes, Councillor Arlett. I was going to propose, propose no objection to this one, uh, Chairman, um, mainly because it's um, you know, it's not a small plot of land, it's a very big plot of land there. I hear what uh, 
the planned officer says, but I don't think it affects anybody. And I think the first thing you, you look for is, you know, who or what it, is this application going to affect? And I don't believe it affects anything at all. So I propose approval. Thank you. Do I have a second for approval? Councillor Romans, thank you. Would anybody like to, would anybody else like to speak? No, okay, let's, thank you. Let's, uh, Councillor Arlett, would you like to say anything more? No, let's put it to the vote then, please. All those for approval. Thank you, that's uh, Councillor Clark, Councillor Eggleton, are you approving? Okay, thank you, that's carried. Okay, so let's um, let's move on to the next item, which is turning over the page to page five, um, P20 slash S1209 slash full, 36 Makins Road, Jodie. Thank you. Um, so the principle of the demolition of an existing dwelling um, with the replacement of two dwellings is broadly acceptable um, and it would be in line with South Oxford core strategy and Henley's neighbourhood plan um, that support the principle of infill and redevelopment schemes. However, I have got concerns relating um, to the scale and sitting of the proposed um, dwellings and the impact on the neighbouring privacy. The plot is um, small and the proposed dwellings would appear overly bulky when set against the two adjacent bungalows. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so let's take this out to councillors now for their observations. Councillor Gavishak, do you have a proposal? Yes, um, thank you, Jodie, for your comments and I, and I completely and utterly agree with, with them. I. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I'm going to propose a refusal of this because it's unneighbourly, it's overbearing, massing on the site is too large. The other significant thing on, in this is that this is a small cul-de-sac or a small inlet off Makings Road um, to a series of first storey bungalows. This would be the first property that goes up to a second floor, um, although it's a sort of like a dormer type chalet so therefore there would be overlooking into the neighbor's property so i i think this is the wrong development on this site so i propose refusal okay thank you do i have a seconder for refusal yeah a number thank you councillor arlett thank you okay so would anybody else like to speak to this application no? Okay. So I have a motion for refusal. Um, it's been seconded. Councillor Gavishak, before we go to the vote, would you like to uh, say anything further? Uh, no, not for, sorry, no, apart from, that's a, an oxymoron, but um, that we really should strongly, well, depending on the vote, we should really strongly put the wording, um, and I'm sure the planning officer will come up with a with suitable adjectives to describe that this should not happen on this site. I mean, we're all in favour of more smaller dwellings and uh, more houses in, or proportionate houses in Henley because we, because we need them, but it's the wrong place. Okay, thank you. So, so let's, thank put you. This, let's put this to the vote then. Um, all those for refusal, please raise your hands. Okay, that is carried. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next item on the agenda, which is P20 slash S1227 slash HH, and that's 24 St. Mark's Road. Jodie. Um, I haven't got any comments for this one. I haven't got any concerns. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so uh, Councillor Arlett, you have the proposal? No objection. I think the chairman said this could happen. Okay, I'm freezing out here myself.
Would you like me to take over until she unfreezes? Uh, I was going to suggest uh, in her absence, uh, if the um, vice chair would uh, like to um, carry on the meeting. He's off the bench. Okay, we're talking about P20 forward slash S1227 forward slash H824 St Mark's Road. Proposal, please. Councillor Gavishak. Propose acceptance. Seconder. Councillor Romans and Councillor Clark. Anybody wish to speak? No. All in favour, no objection. That's carried. Uh, next one is P20 Force S1316 Force S HH43 Makings Road. Have you got anything to say on this one, Jody? Uh, no, I have no comments for this one. Okay, Councillor Gavashak. Proposed acceptance. Seconder. Councillor Miller. Okay. Anybody wish to speak? No. All in favour? It's carried. Uh, next one is P20 4S1327 4S HH 102 Grays Hill. Anybody up for this one? Councillor Gavishak. I propose acceptance. Seconder. Councillor Eggleton. Anybody wish to speak? So I didn't ask you to say anything, uh, Jody. I don't have any comments either. Sorry about that. I do, apo I do apologize. It's fine. I don't. <laughs> I'm beginning, beginning to get into a sprint. That was all. <laughs> okay. All in favour of um, approval? That's carried. Uh, the next one, P20, 4S1359, 4SHH9, Norman Avenue. Jody. Uh, yeah, so I have some comments for this one. Um, it's a grade two listed building uh, within the main conservation area. Although the proposed extension is at the rear of the property, um, do have some concerns over scale and massing and how it would compete with the list, the host listed building and potential conflict with policy con three and con five of the local plan um, and the listed building must be respected in terms of its character and qualities. Okay, thank you. Can we take the listed building one below as well? We'll take the two together. Who would like to speak? Councillor Gavishak. Um, I thank the planning officer for her comments and uh, um, but I think in this in this area there have been a number of developments to a number of properties, and I, I think actually, I mean they're fairly large plots of land, and um, it's not overbearing com compared with the original building. So therefore, I respect the um, the comments made, but I propose acceptance. Okay, we have a seconder, Councillor Eggleton. Anybody wish to speak on this? Councillor Eggleton. As long as they have respect, and it's in, as long as they have respect for the build, the historic side of the building, and try and keep it in uh, as tasteful as well, in keeping with what's around it. I was almost going to say that's the end of the agenda. Um, does anybody else wish to speak on this? And I'll put it back to you, uh, Michelle. Anybody Thank else you. wish to speak? I think it, it's unfortunate. I, I totally agree with Jodie on the items that she's put forward. The problem is there's numerous of uh, the houses down there have done similar or, or even worse. And I think that that's the problem. You know, the damage has been um, made there on the extensions at the back of these properties. Uh, so as such, I would um, support the uh, proposal. So the proposal was for approval. All those in favor? That's carried. Can I pass over to you again then, Michelle? We are just on the last one at the bottom of page five. Can she hear me? Yeah. So you've you've done you've done you've actually completed number nine Norman Avenue. Uh, yes, yes, we have. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, so let's take the next one. Um, it's P20 slash S1374 slash HH, and that's 131 Reading Road. Jodie. 
concerns or comments for this one. Okay, thank you. So let's take it to councillors. Um, do I have any proposals? Yes, Councillor Gavishak. I propose acceptance. It's acceptable. Okay, thank you. Do I have a seconder? Thank you, Councillor Clark. Um, would anybody else like to speak to this application? I have um, a proposal and it's been seconded for acceptance. Would anybody else like to speak? Councillor Arlott. Yeah, the, the only problem I have with these Velux roof lights, especially this one, you know, they're fairly low down and it's the overlooking, because the terrace block, it's the overlooking to, the, to its neighbours. Um, so I think one of the Velux roof lights, that, you know, the lower one, should have obscure glass on it. Okay. Um, Councillor Gavishak, um, and uh, sorry, who seconded? Councillor Clark. Um, are you happy with uh, putting a setting a condition to yeah. uh, to your proposal? Yes, Councillor yeah. Clark. Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, we now have. A, would you like to sum up, Councillor Gavishak? We have a, a a motion for approval with a condition. No, it's fine. It's all been said. Thank you. Okay. Good, Jody, are you happy? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's put it. To, would anybody else like to speak? Okay, let's put it to the vote then, please. This is uh, for acceptance. Please raise your hands. Okay, thank you. That's carried. Um, so let's move on to the next item. N nice, uh, item nine is um, an appeal under section 78. Um, and Jodie, you'd like to speak to this? Yeah, so I was just going to set out um, what they were asking for this. Um, so this the planning application was approved um, last year on the 8th of November. An appeal has been made to the Secretary of State against conditions 6 and 8 imposed on that, that planning permission. Um, condition 6 um, specifies that the parking and turning areas shall be provided in accordance with the approved plans and removes permitted development rights um, for creating a new vehicle access onto Pack and Prime Lane. Um, condition 8 specifies that all uh, construction traffic serving the development shall enter and leave the site through the existing access from Ancastle Green and shall no, at no time use Pack and Prime Lane. Um, so the appeal will be determined on the basis of written representations. Um, all the representations made to SODC have been forwarded to the planning inspectorate, so including the two previous comments that the town council's made, um, they've been forwarded to an inspector who will consider these um, when determining the appeal. Um, so we need to decide at this point whether we wish to make any further comments or to modify or to withdraw those previous representations. Um, you'll note the previous comments on page six of your agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Wright, you wish to speak? Uh, yes, Chairman. I was at the planning meeting when um, this was given permission and I managed to get those two conditions put into the, uh, um, the approval. The, um, is Councillor Romans having his cup of tea or coffee now? Has he made his mind up? <laughs> Um, One of those high the, the, situations. <laughs> they were they were specifically put in there. I don't know if anybody's been up Pack and Prime Lane, but it's so narrow. Um, you can just about get a car up there uh, now. And there's no turning spaces at all. It's completely built out is Pack and Prime Lane. And there's no mm -hmm. way that vehicles can get up. Well, they can get up there. I think the um, I think the, uh, the the dust cart kind of somehow reverses up there. Other than that, it couldn't turn around. There's no place to turn around up there. And it was agreed by the planning committee at SODC that there is an access off Ancastle Green, which leans up to the back of this property. And all the traffic go up there quite easily. It's not difficult to go up there. There's a tarmac road that leads up there. And they felt that any any construction vehicles could, should use that uh, that access to the back of the back of the property, and that's why the conditions. It's totally unsafe to use uh, the the road there, and it will just completely cut it up with big vehicles uh, going up there. It's bad enough as it is, and it's also an uh, an, an exit for the Henley College as well. 
uh, for vehicles to come out of there. So um, they were the specific reasons um, uh, why it's put in the conditions. I'm quite happy to write something up and pass it past uh, uh, Jody. Uh, the last one I did for this was the hub and I sent it straight to the DOE and um, you know, sent a copy on to SODC as well. So I would suggest that we, uh, uh, we support the reasons on those conditions. Okay, thank you, Councillor Arla. Would anybody else like to speak? Okay, so what I propose then, um, we don't actually have to, I mean, this is not like a planning application, it's a completely different scenario from new plans. So what, I, what I'm going to propose um, is that Councillor Arlott work with um, our planning officer, Jodie Rhymes, um, to um, make some additions to what um, the planning committee have already stated um, in previous uh, meetings. And is that acceptable to everybody? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Jodie, are you happy with that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, Sheridan, are you are you happy with that decision? Um, yes, if, if they are, the committee can delegate it to an officer but cannot delegate it to uh, a councillor. Uh, so if it is that, um, uh, that uh, any additional comments will be provided by uh, by Jody in consultation with uh, Councillor Arlott, that would be acceptable. Okay. Are we all happy with that as a planning committee? Yeah, Councillor Hamilton, you know, we should speak. The, the way around the problem is we all we should all submit our comments to Jody, and then she should write up the document, and then there's not a problem. Okay. If um, if any of you wish to actually submit any comments to Jody, would you be able to do so? Um, um, I, I personally am not going to add anything more to this. Um, Councillor Arlott, as previous chair, has been closest to this. Um, but um, if anybody um, wishes to actually submit any comments, would you please do so to Jody? Uh, Jody, um, when do you need comments by? Um, so all representatives, they must be received by 28th of May. So if I can have it in plenty of time. So by the end of next week would be fine. So I can pull it okay. together. So a week on Friday, please, everybody, yeah. if you wish to submit any comments. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's move on to the next um, item then, which is um, item 10, which is objections and calling applications. Um, are there any applications on this agenda which you think need to be heard at, um, at uh, SODC planning? Councillor Arlett. Yeah, I'll call in um, P20 4 slash S1 209 4 slash full for 36 Makings Road. Okay, thank you. Any others? No? Okay, thank you. Uh, so let's move on to the next item then, which um, is, oh, hold on a moment. Number 11, decision notices on pages 31 to 33. Um, we just have to note those, okay. Um, they're, they're all, they've all gone through. There isn't anything we can do other than note them. Um, and again, similarly, um, on point number 12, Certificate of Lawful de Development, we note that one, which is P20 slash S1228 slash LDP, 24 St. Mark's Road. Um, and again, number 13, Permitted Development Application. This is to note the single storey rear extension to 15 Grace Hill. And at number 14 is a withdrawn application uh, for P20 slash S1241 slash PDH. Um, and this application was actually called in, but as it's been withdrawn, uh, we won't be needing to make any representations now. Um, and the final item on the agenda is 15. And that's uh, to note a Road Traffic Regulation Act uh, on Grays Hill. Um, and that could be found on pages 35 to 36. Okay, right, so I'm calling an end to the meeting. I want to thank everybody for their attendance um, of this first online meeting. Um, and the next meeting, I believe, will be on the 2nd of June. Thank you all. <laughs>